Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss chapter number 3, Fiber to Fabric. Chapter number 3, Fiber to Fabric. In the last class, that is in class 6, we have learned about some fibers obtained from plants. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about the fiber which is obtained from animals. So, let's see the first topic, animal fibers, wool and so, animal fibers, wool, and silk. Okay, let's see this wool. The wool comes from sheep. God, yak, and some animals, some other animals also. These wool yielding animals bear hair on their body. This wool is derived from the hair of this animals. These animals have a hair because hair trap a lot of air. Air is a poor conductor of heat. Air is a poor conductor of heat. So with the help of this hair these animals keep them warm. We will use the term fleece. This fleece is the hair of the of these animals. We will use the term fleece instead of the hair in most of the time. The hairy, hairy skin of sheep has two types of fibers that forms its fleece. The first one is the coarse beard hair and the second one is the fine soft under here which are close to the skin okay the hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fibers that forms its fleece. The first one is the coarse beard hair and the second one is the fine soft under hair close to the skin. This fine hair is used to make the wool. So some breeds of sheep possess only fine under hair. We are choosing the parents that have only soft under here. So this process of selecting parents for obtaining special characters in their offspring, such as soft under here in sheep is termed as selective breeding. Selective breeding. 
So selective breeding is the process of selecting parents. It is the process of selecting parents. Which type of parents? The parents which have only soft under here in order to make the wool. So selective breeding is very important in order to obtain wool in large scale. Let's see the next topic. Animals that yield wool. We know that there are many animals that yield wool. Let's take some examples that yield wool. I'll write some animals that yield wool. The first one is the sheep. We get wool from sheep. Most of the wool commonly available in the market is sheep wool. This is the picture of sheep with thick growth of hair. Next is yak. This yak wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. Let's see the yak. This is the picture of a yak. Next. Mohair wool is obtained from it is obtained from Angora goats. Angora goats. Let's see the Angora goat. This is the Angora goat. This Angora god is found in hilly regions like Jammu and Kashmir. And the next one is god wool. It is obtained from God, as you know, from the name itself. Let's see a picture of God. This is a God. Next, we get wool from camel also. Let's see a picture of a camel. This is a camel. From the fleece or hair of the camel, we will obtain camel wool. Next animal is llama. It is found in South America and the last one is alpaca. It is also found in South America. We can obtain wool from these two animals also. Let's see the picture of llama and alpaca. This is llama and this is alpaca. So we get different types of wool from different animals. Wool is obtained from sheep, it can obtain from yak, 
it can obtain from angora gods it can obtain from the god it can obtain from camel it can obtain from lama it can obtain from alpaca and so on let's see the next topic from fibers to wool okay in order to make wool from fibers the first step is the rearing and breeding of sheep rearing and breeding of sheep as we know sheep are herbivorous animal they prefer eating grass and leaves apart from grazing sheep rears also feed them on a mixture of mixture of pulses corn jowar oil cakes and minerals in winter ships are kept indoors and fed on leaves grain and dry fodder as discussed earlier for rearing and breeding of sheep we use selective breeding we use the selective bred that is one of the parent of the sheep being a sheep of good breed which will produce a good quality of wool as well as in large quantities of wool once the rear sheep have developed a thick growth up here then the hair is shaved off for getting wool and after that we can start the processing fibers into wool let's see this table which are some indian breeds of sheep the first breed name is lohi it has a good quality wool lohi is found in the state of rajasthan and punjab the next one is rampur bosier the quality of the wool is brown fleece it is found in the state of uttar pradesh and himachal pradesh and the next type of breed is nali it is a good quality of wool which used in making carpet nali is found in the state of rajasthan haryana and punjab next type of breed is bakarwal it is used for woolen shawls it is found in the state of jammu and kashmir next type of breed is marwari which is a coarse wool it is found in the state of gujarat the last type of breed is patanwadi it is for hosiery it is found in the state of gujarat let's see the next topic that is
processing fibers into wool okay in order to process the fibers into wool there are mainly six steps the steps are the first one is shearing the second one is scoring third one is sorting fourth one is cleaning of birds the fifth one is dyeing and the last one is rolling let's see the six main different steps in detail the first step shearing is the removal of fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin from its body okay try to remember this definition also shearing is the removal of the fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin from its body first of all we will do this shearing in order to do the shearing machines similar to those used by barbers are used to stamp the hair in order to do the shearing that is removal of the fleece it is usually done during the hot season or the hot weather since all the hair will be removed from the sheep in order not to make cold it is usually done during the hot weather here you know that shearing will not hurt the sieve it is similar in cutting our hair in cutting our hair we are not hurt like that the shearing does not hurt the sieve after some time the hair of the sieve will grow up again as our hair does so the next step is scoring let's see what is scoring okay in the first step that is in the step of shearing the seared skin with hair is obtained that seared skin is was in tanks to remove grease dust and dirt so the process of removal of the grease dust and dirt by washing the seared skin with hair in tanks is known as scoring the next step is sorting from the 
name of the step itself we can easily know what this step is doing sort means the separation of the hair of different texture separation of separation or you can see sorting sorted of here of different textures that we obtain from the previous step that is scoring so this process of separation or sorting of hair of different textures is known as sorting this sorting is generally done in a factory the hairy skin that we obtain from the previous step scoring is sent to the factory to separate or sorted the different texture the next step is cleaning of burrs let's see what is cleaning of burrs in this step the small fluffy fibers Coal burst are picked out from the hair. These are the same burrs we sometimes appear on our sweater. And after that, the fibers are scored again and dried. This is the wool ready to be drawn into fibers. The next step is dyeing. The natural fleece of sheep and goat is black or brown or white so in order to get different colors of wool we dyed with different colors that process is known as dyeing the last step is rolling in this step the fibers are straightened comb and roll into yarn the longer fiber are used to make wool for sweater and the shorter fiber are used to woven for woolen cloth So these are the steps involved in processing fibers into wool. Let's see some pictures that involve in the processing fibers into wool. The first picture is the shearing of the sheep. 
this picture is uh, scoring in tanks this picture is for scoring by machines and this last figure is the uh, rolling into yarn let's see the occupational hazard in wool industry as we know wool wool industry is an important means of livelihood for many people in our country the sorter's job sorter's job means the job that the people are doing in sorting or separating the fleece of sheep into fibers of different qualities so those people who do the sorter's job is re is risky as sometimes they get infected by a bacterium called anthrax this anthrax can cause fatal blood disease called sorter's disease so such risks faced by workers in any industry are called occupational hazard